Hey guys. So hey. first day full pads, how do you feel it went? Uh, I thought it went well. You know, that was good intensity. We, uh, you know, there was, some, there was some cool stuff out of it. You know, we obviously did the pride drill there in the middle of practice, and it was great to see the guys get excited and compete and all that, and had a, had a nice physical team run period, and then obviously finishing up here in the red zone late and um, watching guys on both sides of the ball making plays, uh, which, you know, first day in pads was good. Yeah, I thought we got we understood the tempo. You know, we weren't live today. It wasn't about trying to go to the ground. It was still understanding pad level and staying up, and I, th I thought the guys did a nice job. Nate Fellner, any update on him? Yeah, he, he broke the fifth metatarsal uh, in his foot, and so we're, you know, most guys, um, that, that's that's about a four-week recovery. Um, so we know what it is. It's, it's nothing worse. There's no ligament damage. Um, so this, you know, hopefully he gets back sooner rather than later. James Johnson, anything on him? No, we, we know what it is. He, he's got the, the kind of sprain in his foot that, you know, I think is more of a day-to-day. -day. It, it's, nothing, it's nothing structural. There was other guys like Princeton and, and Corey who have either. Yeah, like they were limited. Princeton, um, Princeton's got a hamstring that we're just going to monitor very closely. I, we don't want that thing to linger all year long. We're going to get him healthy. And Corey's got kind of a uh, Achilles strain that has just been bothering him. You know, it's bothered him kind of throughout the summer, and he, he thought he could he thought he shook it and, and couldn't. So we didn't get we didn't didn't get him back yet. It looked like the energy really kind of picked up as that the was great. practice went on. Uh, th yeah, it kind of built. You know, always you know we start practice with special teams every you know every practice, and sometimes. That, you know, the guys are kind of waiting for the offense, defense to really get excited. But the special team work has been great. Um, you know, I, I think that um, our guys understand the competition as, as it builds, and, and they look forward to the competition. And that's what makes our guys, you know, special to me is because they, they embrace those opportunities to battle and compete with one another, uh, but do it with respect. And uh, they did that today. It was great. But with Fellner, can you talk about kind of who's behind him then right now and how that shakes out? Well, the guy today got the, a lot of reps was uh, was Jamal uh, Curse as well as Scott Lawyer. Those guys did some nice stuff today. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, I just report to you guys, uh, Garrett Gillen is retiring. He's not going to play football anymore. So um, he's going to stay at school here at the UW, but um, just retiring. So an opportunity maybe <laughs> lost there. Um, and Blake Rogers' knee is just not quite to where we can get him back on the field. So um, a lot of guys getting shots. You know, Corey Littleton, a lot more reps than he's had the first few days. But that, that's that's the good side of it. You know, Thomas Tatogi, a lot of reps. What? How are those guys responding to, to this opportunity? Oh, I think they embrace it. We talked about it last night and as a team. That, you know, as, as one guy goes down, you know, the reason we recruited those guys was to come here and play. And, um, you know, I think they're working at it. And, just like a lot of young guys, you know, that you you make some plays and then you have some plays you like to have back, you know. And so, you know, got to look at the film to see exactly how it all played out. But I think they were excited for the opportunity. Obviously, I guess that's a little bit of a hit to the depth at linebacker with some of that. I mean, you feel yeah, it is. You know, it is from a, just a number standpoint. We actually have decent numbers at the position, um, especially with the guys that have moved in there. Evan Zeger is another name I should have used to, in that, that that he's getting more opportunities as well. So. With some of the guys that moved down, Fellner, Zeger, it, our numbers aren't aren't the issue there. You know, it's just getting the right guys on the field in the right spots. Will Garrett be still on scholarship then? No, if he retires, he retires. It, it, that's his choice. You know, we want we want him to play football, and he doesn't want to. It's unfortunate. So that was. Well, well, I say with James and and and, uh, and uh, I can't even think of the other receiver. Oh, with Kevin. Uh, being out, it looked like a lot of the younger guys got a chance. They've been getting a lot of opportunities. You know, obviously, you know, Kendall and, and Jadon have, have had really nice training camps. They've been impressive. I think they maybe hit a little bit of the wall today, day five. You know, a couple couple drops we haven't seen out of them in the first few days. And so hopefully we can get them back going again tomorrow. Um, if, you know, if you notice, we, we shortened practice a little bit here today coming back tomorrow with our first double day. So got to get their legs back a bit and, um, you know, just getting them feeling fresh again. So, so you know, thanks, guys. Campbell, is he getting 